Ooh, I'm excited. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Steph, and today we're here with an Owl Crate unboxing. Oh boy, I haven't gotten one of these in forever, and I'm super hyped because the theme was, I think, Murder and Mayhem. I know I saw Murder, and I was here for it, so I got me a box. I spoiled myself this month. I got two boxes, and my wallet hates me, but that's not the point. I got, yeah, the, what month, month are we in? We are in the March, so this is the March Owl Crate, and let's open it up. Ooh. But I haven't got one in so long. Look how pretty the inside is before we even look at the stuff. Look at how just how pretty the guide to the unboxing is. Oh, little hoots. Aw, I love that they give a hoot to put on the little hoots. It's so cute. I love it. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff already. Okay, first we should look at the card. Dude, that's dope. I love that artwork. Always ready for a murderous gal in a mask. Love it. And there's spoilers on the back. So yeah, this month is murder and mayhem, so hell yeah, let's, let's stab the bitch. <laughs> Already, I am so, this looks like a bag, and I am very ready wah, to see what this is. <gasps> oh, I'm not going to take my Ninja Turtle backpack anymore. I am taking this bag. <gasps> There's a zipper inside. There's a small pocket. Oh my god, oh my god. This is super cute. It is like, this is a hella nice bag. Oh my god. And it has like little skulls and potions and feathers and little herbs and stabbing tools, you know, just casual. And it's one of those backpack drawstring bags like that. Whoop. Oh my god, it's, this is like a really, really like, thick, nice material. And it has that inside pouch. Oh my god, can't give it full justice because of how zoomed in it is because I'm trying to get on just the table and not anything else in my messy living room. But oh my god, look at it. Look at this at the bottom, like nice leather or pleather, whatever they want to use. Oh my god, this is freaking dope. Oh, this is this is very nice. I should move on to the next thing, but y'all, this is dope. This can hold a few books. I am hyped. Next, we have the mug, which is the one thing I knew this was coming with other than the book. And I see the book down there. I don't want to look at it. Um, I'm just going to focus on this mug. Never flinch, never fear, never forget. Join the ranks of assassins of the Red Church with your very own travel mug inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I've been seeing a lot of stuff about Jay Kristoff on book Twitter, and... <laughs> It's been freaking hilarious, and I need to read his stuff, so this should be another thing where it's like, hey, Stephanie, read, read stuff so you actually know the references on all these bookish things. Ooh, does this come off? Ooh, never flinch, never fear, never forget. Oh, look at the little owl on the bottom, but ooh, see, never flinch, never fear, never forget. Ooh, I, this is dope. Ooh, everything's like all rubber, except for this, this is like nice class this is dope y'all i need to start like drinking coffee and doing adult things look at faces i'm just gonna put a hot cocoa in here because i don't like coffee <laughs> but dang this is dope and it has little holders so you know yeah this is my totally legit professional mug sips tea <laughs> i shouldn't put that in my mouth i don't know when it's been washed design with love by katrina book designs mug will become hot when filled with boiling water i would think so i would think so oh it's dishwasher and microwave safe yay Oh my god, we got a candle! I love bookish candles. Okay, so this one is in the wake of time. I can't read. Corsi, black cherry and lime. <gasps> lime? Oh my god, they're speaking my language! Okay, how <laughs> great okay, exclusive. There's like nothing else on here, but... Y'all, this smells, you know that like cherry and like limeade? The cherry limeade, that's what this smells like, and I am freaking living for it. Oh my god. This is really good. I hope you can see my face in the camera because, oh my god, this is freaking... This is this smells dope. This smells so good. Like, if you know the cherry limeade drinks, I think they put it by Minute Maid or something. I don't know, cherry limeade, that is what this smells like, and I'm here for it because that's like one of my favorite flavors. Ooh, we got a pencil in here as well. Four dead queens, one conspiracy. Ooh, and a little penguin for Penguin Random House. Oh, that's, that's fun. Can you see that? Four dead queens. Womp, womp. One conspiracy. Womp, womp. Fun. Always need more pencils and squiggies. <laughs> Alright, next we got two things. <gasps> ooh, let's let's set you there because I know your bookmark, but like, ooh, look at this. Monthly enamel pin collection. Ooh, what are you from? So this one's from Iron and Ink Designs on Etsy. Murder Mayhem March 2019 box number 49. So this is just like the Owl Crate exclusive pin. Let's take out of this stuff so it's not super shiny on the thing. Ooh, baby. It's like a 
compass. I dig. <gasps> it spins. I that little arrow spins. Oh, I love when things like little intricate things work like that. <gasps> That's dope. I'm gonna spend all my time doing this. <laughs> Let's move on before I actually do end up doing that. All right. Ooh, this is a nice thick bookmark. Like sturdy, sturdy stuff. When the snow is. I can't read cursive, and just trying to read it on camera is gonna make me seem like such a DA. But when the snow, the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Ooh, fun quote from inkandwonder.com, AU, so I'm assuming Australia. That's really dope. I really like how thick it is. Like, it's just fun to that. It's not really wine bent. Is it wood? I don't know, but it's like really nice. I think it is wood. That is super dope. I like the design. I don't know what it's from because I may be on book two, but there's so many popular books that I haven't read. I'm just, I don't know why I'm here at this point. <gasps> is this a sticker? Oh my God. Okay, so I'm assuming this is from the same, where did it go? It was It was here earlier. The three dark crown, the pencil, it was on the pencil. The um, four dead queens or like one of those queen ones with like the sisters. Um, I want revenge and then I want my crown. Bum, bum, bum. Can you see that? Is it in focus? Look at that. Damn, we love a good sticker. We love a good bookish sticker. Next, we're up to the exciting, exciting book at the bottom. We have, well, I should have guessed it from the pencil and all of the kind of four dead queen things. It is four dead queens in the Owl Crate exclusive signed edition. And might I just say, the gemstones, hot damn. I love how they stand out against the dark. Ooh, how do I, where's the opening? I feel around, like where's the opening? And there's the letter of the author. I like how they package it with the book inside the little plastic. Like I said, I haven't gotten Owl Crate in so long, so I don't know when they started doing this. But last time I got an Owl Crate, they definitely did not do that. Ooh, so there is, assuming these are the characters, the, the four dead queens, I assume. Oops, they were kind of off frame. So we have Cora, Iris, oh God, Margaret and Stressa. I love her crown. Why is she the only one wearing a crown though? That is that significant? Like what's happening there? Ooh, can you see it good? I, I like it. Ooh, look at that artwork too. Hot damn. And like look at how cute the author's handwriting is. I am so excited to fully read this later. If you wanna like pause it and read it now, you can. But I'm going to fully read it later because yeah girl, I've proven that I can't really <gasps> Ooh. I I know I keep like stopping, but oh it has like the the edges that are uneven. That's my shit. <laughs> I had a copy of, um, what is it called? Christmas Carol with edges like this, and I was in love with it, and then I lost it, and I was very sad inside. So let's take a peek under the dust jacket. We got just kind of in a reddish orange, the four dead queens. It's, oh, there we go. Yeah, now you can see it. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. <gasps> oh, the author signed it in such a pretty color. That's like one of my favorite colors. Oh, that is freaking dope. So all I really know about this book is that it's a murder mystery. I have been seeing some hype for it on book Twitter and booktube, but I hadn't pre-ordered it or anything, but now that I own it, I'm very excited to read it and check it out, and I'm very hyped for how rad this cover is. I love the tones. I love how much the gems stand out on these two crowns. I really wonder if that's significant in any way, because the other two kind of fade into the background and fade into their crown, but those two gemstones, like, they really stand out, and I'm really here for that. And I'm sorry, it's like super off frame. Like my framing is very bad because this table is kind of small. <laughs> Ooh, that is very exciting. And then real quick before we get to the final looky wow. Ooh, there's more stuff on the bottom. Oh, there's so much down here. All right, so we have a little booklet that has some of the fun stuff in it. Interview with the author. We have Alcrate. Okay, so we got the red edition and the regular version is this bluish. So I really love both covers, although I like Blue is more more of my favorite, so I really kind of miss the regular cover, but I really dig like how like the contrast in this red cover that that came with the Owl Crate box. So I'm really excited for that. I might eventually get that one just because pretty, but <laughs> I don't know yet. Oh, and there's some interviews with the vendors in here, the vendor who made the bookmark. That's really awesome. The April theme, the dark side. Oh, it's a Harry Potter thing, guys. Am I gonna end up getting next month's Owl Crate? Oh no. And then we just have kind of an extended version of the little card that came on, fr on the front or the top of the box with that fun murder mystery. And then the theme of the April box is the dark side. Flip for a sneak peek. Yeah, it's the same thing as in the booklet. 
Ooh. An exclusive scarf designed by Bookmarks Tattoos. If you're already a subscriber, oh, we already know that. But ooh. Do I need a bookish scarf? That's the real question here. Do I need it? Probably not. Do I want it? Kind of. I just lost part of the mug because I was going to try and set everything up for a picture, or the last like minute of me talking, so that's cool. Love that. But yeah, there you guys go. That was my Owl Crate unboxing for March of 2019, the Murder Mayhem box. I'm very excited to read this book and play with all these goodies. I have so many bookmarks now because of these bookish boxes, and I am very hyped to use this bag. I think I'm going to actually use it tomorrow to hold my notebooks, and hopefully it works out well because, like I said, I'm hyped. If you want to see my last unboxing, it was a Lit Joy Crate box, the February 2019 theme. I believe it was Viva La, Fa um, Viva La Revolution, something along those lines. I'll leave it for you right over here on the cover of the book. <laughs> I'll also leave my last video for you guys right down here. If you want to subscribe, my face will be right here. So what's the button down below? You can hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Usually on Mondays and Fridays, this week is very messed up. This week is not going to be consistent. But anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later. Bye!